One of New Zealand's most talented and well-known chefs, Ben Bailey has hit the ground running at his new restaurant. Called The Grounds, it's part of the Woe Studios complex, and along with his equally talented head chef, Mike Shatura, Ben's family-friendly delicious food is a huge hit. Kia ora hoa, no mai. Hi to Mike, thank you for making time for us, busy guy. Thank you. <laughs> As we say, whoa, whoa, studios. Everyone says your new restaurant is amazing, so you're going to bust out some of your menu here today? Yeah, we are. Th this dish, or a version of this, of this dish, is at Baduzzi and at Woe Studios because it's so popular. We're going to do a linguine dish with clams, little neck clams or cockles, as we know. What do you call it in the restaurant? In Italian, they say linguine alla vongole. It's a very simple dish. Um, the hardest thing about the dish is making the pasta. Hamano, and what about over there? What have we got going on? So the dessert today, we're going to do waffles. We're going to use some seasonal fruit and ice cream that we're going to treat like butter and make an ice cream sandwich. I te kaunga o wene kai katoa, so I think we're going next level with this. Me timataki here, where do we need to start? All right, so we're going to take 600 grams of flour. So pasta, we use double zero flour, which um, that, that, that name gets thrown around all the time, but what it means is it's got really high gluten, and so uh, the gluten's gonna enable the pasta to stretch. So if you use flour for baking cakes to make pasta, you're gonna get no stretch, and uh. you're not gonna get nice tasting pasta. So that's 600 grams of double zero flour into the blender. Now we need four whole eggs. Eight. Six yolks, which we've already got them Eight. separated there, and a good pinch of salt. So what's that about? Just to make sure that everything's yeah, in there. Yeah, it's quite a lot in there, which is a good thing. But um, you want to just check your pasta at this point. What you're looking for at this point is you want to be able to push the dough or the crumbs here. It's kind of crumbly looking, mm -hmm. but when you start to work it... Capiti, it sort of comes together. Yeah, right, and you can feel that's going to that's gonna be able to be rolled for our pasta machine mm. over here. So. Karehe puahu parawa, no flour? No flour at the moment. We may use a bit of flour when we roll the um, pasta. It depends on how how wet it is. Oh, my pair for katsu. Show me the ways. So you just kind of bring it together, kind of like you're kneading bread. Oh, jeez. Just add a touch of water if it's a bit dry. Um, if it's too wet, obviously flour is the only way to go. But it's better that it's a bit too dry than a bit too wet. Ah, oh, okay. If, if it's too wet, it's going to be like a big sloppy mess and you're going to have to keep adding flour to it. Nareida. So it's sort of like Play-Doh. It is, kind of like Play-Doh. You've got to get your guns working. Oh, you do, hey? Give it a good massage. So what we'll do is we'll roll it into a nice little log. And then we'll grab our chopping board and we'll slice it. So we're going to dust a little bit of flour down here and we'll just... Tukuna ki rotorawa. All right, so we're going to roll it through. And that, what setting is that on? So that starts on the highest setting that the pasta roller can go to. I'm going to bring it down to about seven. So we started on ten. We're going to go to seven. We're going to go down to four. I'm going to fold it now. Oh, okay. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm stretching the gluten one way, and then I'm folding it, and then I'm stretching the gluten the other way. So you want to get that gluten activated by, by working it, by kneading it, but also by running it through the machine, which is the extreme pull of the gluten. I'm not even looking. So I'm just feeling it and I just flick it down, flick it down, flick it down. And yeah, so that's at half now. So that's mm. pretty cool. But, the, but with the clams, I want to go a little bit more. So you either go down a bit more or you run it through on half twice, depending on your machine. All right, so now I'm going to roll it up. Another great tip, I see it. Oh, yeah. Straight away after you cut it, just open it out because it will stick together. Now, koerite te rimurapa, so there's beautiful kohanga nests of pasta already. What do we need to do now? Right, we're going to chop some onions or shallots and garlic. We're going to saute those into a pan with some olive oil, then we're going to add some chilli. Uh, tomatoes, chorizo, we're going to cook those for 30 seconds. I'm going to add a little number butter. So I'm going to add the clams now. <clears throat> I want to coat all the clams in the hot oil. The only thing that will open the clams is the heat. Right. Now we're going to deglaze with 
some cider. All right, we're gonna swap lids. That goes there. Linguini in. So basically, as soon as that comes back to the boil, we're gonna be ready. So these clams are opening. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. So this is almost done, the sauce, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit of herbs now. I'm gonna add some basil and some parsley and give the pasta another stir so it doesn't stick together. And now I'm gonna quickly tip this off. Okay. Straight into your pasta. So we're done now. The only thing we need to do is plate it. We're gonna cover with herbs, maybe add some more lemon juice and finish with parmesan. This looks amazing. Arongo hoki koe te ngā tāwara and you get ngā tuangi, hanumitanga, put it all together, good mix. Yeah, I got the man's plate. The man's size portion. <laughs> mm. It really is worth that care of mm. making ngā rapa mai te orokotanga. The claims are cheap. Everything's cheap here. Everything's handmade. It's a one-pan wonder besides the pasta cooking separately on the side. Fai kongo e hoa. That is next level, as always. And so now we move on to kāne anō kia I have not forgotten that amazing dessert. We're going to make waffles. I'm going to start by mounting the butter. So what you can do, you can weigh off 250 grams of flour. That's it. Now we're going to whisk the milk in. I incorporate like a little bit at a time. Right. And I call this like tempering. What we're going to do now is we're going to separate our egg yolks from our egg whites. Okay. We're going to add our egg yolks to the batter and we're going to whip the egg whites up uh, with a whisk just to make it a little bit more lighter ah. uh, so the batter's not so heavy in the waffle machine. You want into they they call soft peak. Mm -hmm. So you can see that's a nice little soft peak. That looks really good together. All right, you can fold that together carefully. What we're going to do now is quickly cook it before all those bubbles pop and we lose all the hard work of whisking. So we've got four waffles here, two each. We won't share with the crew. Okay. So you can close that up now. Mm -hmm. We'll give it a couple of minutes and let's make our caramel in the meantime. Okay, sugar in the pan. Wow, right. really. Okay. And this mm -hmm. one will be our top, so let's build in here. We're just going to poke little... Oh, be ready. Yeah, that's cute. ...little pieces in there. Ka whakakia ngā whāwhārua ne, so we fill up those holes there. I've got fresh and this is poached apricot. Then these are um, freeze-dried raspberries. So this now is turning to a caramel. It's always quite nice to put a little bit of salt into caramel. Mix it up. And I'm going to add a, a little lug of cream. It's going to be butterscotch sauce. Now the cream mm. goes in, foams up. Kei te kite a te wera. Now, Rita, how hung right. mahi hai whakaoti? What do we need to do to finish this off? So we're going to spread some ice cream on top of the fruit, then waffle back on top to complete the sandwich. We'll sprinkle some coconut, some flowers, some freeze-dried berries, and the sauce will happen at the very last thing, the finale. Aha koi ki tāua mā ngā tamariki tēnei. Hei aha ngā tamariki. Don't care about the kids right now. Hei aha ngā tamariki. It's all about us. It's pretty naughty. And nice. Oh, they were ranu eh, huh? That is a perfect caramel sauce, or butterscotch now, isn't mm. it? It's exciting. It is a special treat. And it is, well, it speaks for itself. Ia wā tūtaki ai tāua. He nui ngā matauranga kaputa. Always learn so much when you're in the kitchen. And I really appreciate you sharing all of these whānau favourites. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Kia ora, huh?